The late Jurassic world was dominated by unimaginable scale, a landscape where Diplodocus, one of the most iconic sauropods, moved like a living river across fern-covered plains. Reaching nearly 27 meters in length, this herbivore was built for reach rather than mass. A long, flexible neck, harvested low-lying vegetation, and peg-like teeth efficiently stripped foliage. As a keystone species of the Morrison Formation, its herds shaped the ecosystem and intimidated predators simply by their immense collective presence. For decades, its size was assumed to be its primary defense until paleontologists revisited the mystery of its extraordinary tale. Diplodocus possessed more than 80 caudal vertebrae, creating a whip-like filament that puzzled early researchers. Too slender for brute force combat and seemingly over-engineered for balance alone, the structure hinted at a hidden purpose. The breakthrough came when scientists used digital modeling to simulate its movement. By reconstructing musculature, bone flexibility, and energy transfer, they discovered that a small flick at the base of the tail could send a wave accelerating down its rapidly thinning length. As mass decreased, velocity increased dramatically. Computer simulations revealed that the tail tip could break the sound barrier, exceeding 1,200 kilometers per hour and producing a deafening miniature sonic boom, estimated at around 200 decibels. This transformed Diplodocus from a passive giant into a creature armed with a powerful acoustic weapon. Such explosive cracks would have disoriented predators like Allosaurus long before they closed in serving as a deterrent that required no physical contact. While a direct strike might fracture the fragile tail tip, it could still deliver damaging kinetic force. Beyond defense, these sonic bursts may have functioned as communication warning signals, herd coordination, or dominance displays among rival males. The discovery reframes the Morrison ecosystem as a far more dynamic battleground of adaptations. Sauropods were not merely they wielded evolutionary innovations as sophisticated as any theropod claw or tooth. More deeply, the story highlights how modern science from physics to computer modeling can resurrect behaviors long vanished from Earth. The double beam vertebrae, once an anatomical curiosity, are now understood as part of a complex biomechanical system that allowed Diplodocus to shape its world with sound. This revelation transforms our view of the gentle giant into that of a sonic warrior and reminds us that the fossil record remains full of hidden stories waiting to be uncovered.